Uh, I'm grateful for the arrests that were made today, but we still have a long road ahead of us because until Noah receives his justice, there will be no peace. Days after Noah's death, Jessup held numerous protests and rallies asking for justice for Noah because it was his mother that always knew something was not right. She was absolutely right that this community, they knew Noah. No peace. No justice. No peace. What's his name? No. His older brother spoke on the turnout and how he'll remember his younger brother. It means a lot that Noah touched so many people and got all these people out here together. It really means a lot that everybody came out and showed their support for him. My little brother, if I'm being honest with you, I see, I see a lot of myself in him. I see that, that drive to want to be somebody really special, and he definitely had that skill to be special. He brought us laughter and joy. He had a way of making everybody feel lighter. Anybody that was having a bad day in class, all they had to do was have a little conversation with Noah and their face would be full of a big ear to ear smile. Noah Bush loved basketball with aspirations to be drafted to the NBA one day. His favorite team was the Chicago Bulls. The Unity Church of God in Jessup filled with people decked out in red and black to honor him today. We had a writing assignment. Well, Noah decided as the ambitious child that he was, to write to LeBron James. <laughs> and he told LeBron that he was actually going to be the new king of the NBA. A bright child gone too soon. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. In the heart of Jessup, Georgia, a tragedy unfolded that has gripped the entire community. The evening of May 15, 2024, started like any other for eight-year-old Noah Bush, a bright and loving boy with dreams of becoming a basketball star. Little did anyone know, it would be a night that changed everything. Nova Bush, known to his family by affectionate nicknames like Mr. Supersonic, Sweet Pea, and Stumper, was the kind of child who brought light wherever he went. Born on January 22, 2016, to Demetrius Bush and Antonio Bush Sr., Noah was a second-grade student at James E. Bacon Elementary School. His radiant smile, kind heart, and boundless energy made him a favorite among his classmates and teachers. Noah was a shy but outgoing boy who loved playing basketball and football, often dreaming of the day he would dunk on his hero, LeBron James. On the evening of May 15, Noah went out to play with two of his friends. As night fell, concern grew when he didn't return home. His family frantically searched for him, and when he was not found they reported him missing around 9 p.m., sparking a desperate search involving local law enforcement, neighbors, and even a Black Hawk helicopter from Fort Stewart. For 11 agonizing hours, they calmed the area, their hearts heavy with worry. As the search for Noah continued into the early hours of the morning, the community came together, fueled by a shared sense of urgency and concern. Volunteers formed search parties scouring nearby woods, fields, and abandoned buildings. Around 8 a.m. the next day, a grim discovery was made. Noah's body was found submerged in a construction pit not far from his home. The news sent shockwaves through the community. Noah's family was devastated, their worst fears confirmed. The Wayne County Sheriff's Office quickly declared the cause of death as an accidental drowning. However, this conclusion did not sit well with Noah's family. They felt it was unlikely that Noah, who had a known fear of water, would go near the pit on his own. His mother, heartbroken and determined to find the truth, voiced her disbelief. The family was convinced that something more sinister had occurred. Noah's mother was relentless in her pursuit of the truth. Her intuition told her that something was not right, and she refused to accept the initial findings. With the support of the community, she pushed for a more thorough investigation. Their persistence paid off when further investigation revealed a chilling truth. Noah had been pushed into the water by the two boys he went outside to play with, whom he thought were his friends. In a shocking turn of events, authorities arrested Noah's two friends, aged 10 and 11, who had gone outside to play with him on the evening of his death. Due to their ages, their identities were not revealed to the public. The 11-year-old was charged with simple battery, involuntary manslaughter, concealing the death of another, and criminal trespass, while the 10-year-old faced charges of concealing the death and criminal trespass. The family of Noah expressed a sense of relief and gratitude following the arrest of the two boys. However, they firmly believed that adults were also involved in the tragic incident and played a role in covering up Noah's death. 
Determined to uncover the full truth, the family has vowed not to rest until those adults are also brought to justice. They see the arrest of the two boys as just the beginning of their quest for justice and remain resolute in their commitment to ensuring that everyone responsible is held accountable for their actions. To support their pursuit, they have hired the Davis Bozeman Johnson law firm to represent them and to conduct a thorough investigation into all aspects of the case, seeking justice and closure for Noah. Right now, the drowning death of that eight-year-old boy, Noah Bush from Jessup, is being ruled a homicide. And according to the Wayne County Sheriff's Office, two children are facing charges. And listen to this, parents. They are 10 and 11 years old. It's just very hard to accept and understand uh, why uh, anyone would do this, especially children. But what is more difficult to understand is why adults would participate in concealing this. And some of them maybe even walked around with the Bush family that night pretending as if they were looking for Noah, not knowing where he was. And ever since that night that Noah went missing, the investigation revealed that he left with kids he thought were his own friends. And now we're learning that those kids are responsible for his death. He walked away with people he thought were friends trustworthy. And, tr and trustworthy. It's just very hard to accept and understand. Answers oh, for the family of Noah Bush. Wanted. The eight-year-old found dead in a borrow pit on May 16th. Originally, no foul play was involved. Noah uh, and, and the two juveniles involved in this got into some argument, and an argument led to them pushing Noah into the water and possibly holding his head uh, underwater. The Wayne County Sheriff's Office says the two juveniles are 10 and 11 years old both charged with concealing his death and criminal trespass. The 11-year-old charged with simple battery and involuntary manslaughter. I'm grateful for the arrests that were made today, but we still have a long road ahead of us because until Noah receives his justice, there will be no peace. In a statement from Wayne County Sheriff Chuck Mosley, it says in part, the investigation continues as we await the completion of the enhancement of the videos obtained during this process. The Glynn County District Attorney Keith Higgins says that the arrests of these juveniles may not be the end. We are disappointed that today was not the full justice that we expected. It was not the full justice that this family deserves and that this community has been organizing around and fighting for. Days after Noah's death, Jessup held numerous protests and rallies asking for justice for Noah because it was his mother that always knew something was not right. She was absolutely right that this community, they knew Noah and that these were neighbors that did this to him. These were neighbors that participated in the taking of her baby's life. And so we will continue. There's a long road ahead. Now I'm outside of the Jessup Courthouse where since 3 o'clock those juveniles have been in court determining whether or not they will go home or they will remain detained. I'm also hearing from one of the lawyers that was on recess not too long ago that warrants for arrest for parents may be given out tonight. In a heartfelt tribute to honor Noah, the community gathered for a touching balloon release ceremony. Friends, family, and neighbors came together, holding vibrant balloons that symbolized the joy and light Noah brought into their lives. As the balloons ascended into the sky, tears were shed and fond memories shared, creating a poignant moment of unity and remembrance. The tribute served as a powerful reminder of Noah's impact on those around him and the community's unwavering support for his family's quest for justice. Well, last night, the community also came out to honor Noah with a balloon release. People gathered uh, to the Donaldson Madre Hasa field with red and black balloons, some also holding a number eight balloon, which was Noah's age. His older brother spoke on the turnout and how he'll remember his younger brother. It means a lot that Noah touched so many people and got all these people out here together. It really means a lot that everybody came out and showed their support for him. My little brother, if I'm being honest with you, I see, I see a lot of myself in him. I see that, that drive to want to be somebody really special, and he definitely had that skill to be special. He wouldn't let anything stop him. He wasn't really scared of anything, so he was definitely, definitely something to be reckoned with when he, get over, when, when he got older. 
At Noah's funeral service, held at the Unity Church of God, the community came together to celebrate his life. Mourners dressed in black and red, Noah's favorite colors, filled the church, sharing stories of the joy and light he brought into their lives. It was a somber but powerful reminder of the impact Noah had on everyone who knew him. An incredibly somber day for the family and friends of eight-year-old Noah Bush, whose tragic death touched the hearts and minds of an entire community, a community that's rallied around him since the news of his death. A celebration of Noah's life, family members grieving the loss of someone so dear to them. Noah. Hey, my boy. I hope you can hear me when I say I want to wake up to your smile, your laugh. I want to wake up to you. I want to catch you eating the most random things at all hours of the night. I want to see you sneaking in and out the kitchen to grab an extra snack and me pretending not to see you. I want to see you dance, my boy. I want to see you walk through the door, Kenneth. I want to see you. Those who knew the young boy describing all the ways he touched those around him in his short time. He brought us laughter and joy. He had a way of making everybody feel lighter. Anybody that was having a bad day in class, all they had to do was have a little conversation with Noah and their face would be full of a big ear-to-ear -ear smile. Noah Bush loved basketball with aspirations to be drafted to the NBA one day. His favorite team was the Chicago Bulls. The Unity Church of God in Jessup filled with people decked out in red and black to honor him today. We had a writing assignment. Well, Noah decided, as the ambitious child that he was, to write to LeBron James. <laughs> and he told LeBron, that he was actually going to be the new king of the NBA. A bright child gone too soon, dying in an alleged drowning. I never would have imagined in a million years that I'd be buried in my little brother. It's definitely supposed to be the other way around. Though some in Noah's corner say they don't believe his death was caused by a drowning, asking for further investigation. Basketball jerseys, sneakers, and a community of people here to support Noah Bush and his family as they lay his body to rest. They're remembering their all-star and most valued player. The eight-year-old's body was found in a construction pit hours after he went missing from his Jessup home last month. Since then, community members have gathered calling for more answers in the case. What if this was my baby that was found like that? I would fight tooth and nail, and I, I did, you know, we're not going to stop until we get the answers that are his God-given right. Many of those community members, like Tierney Smith, who's been advocating for the case since its beginning, were present at the service, calling their support today an act of love and an act of service. Standing in truth and standing together in real love. No one's name means rest. No one's name means peace. No one came on destination. He was here on destination. At only eight years old, people that knew Noah said he was a light in their lives. The mayor of Jessup addressing those concerns openly. I want to tell you how um, heartfelt, how upset I am about this too. And it's my prayer today, and it's my expectation that your family the community gets answers. Now, the Wayne County Sheriff's Office released a statement yesterday as the investigation into the eight year old's death continues. They said in part, quote, we realize that some feel that this investigation is taking too long, but we want to make sure that all evidence that can be gotten is obtained. When the investigation is complete, any charges to be made will be appropriate to the evidence that is obtained. The investigation is ongoing with the Wayne County Sheriff's Office and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation leaving no stone unturned. Enhanced surveillance footage is being analyzed and new leads are being pursued. The community remains vigilant with plans for continued demonstrations to ensure that Noah's death is not in vain. Noah Bush's story is a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of justice. His bright spirit and the love he shared with those around him will never be forgotten. As this family and community continue to fight for answers, they are united in their resolve that there will be no peace until full justice is served for Noah. His legacy now drives a community's unwavering quest for truth and justice, 
ensuring that his light continues to shine even in his absence. Rest in peace, no. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.